Even if you dress in a rush, Brit fluoride toothpaste starts instant action against tooth decay. Brit, B R I S K, Brit. This is Fanny Luce Pupupski, better known as UPS, of WKBCUPS Radio Theater. Instead of visiting with you from my explorers of the Timeless Cocoon Center, where people drop in to chat, share ideas, and books, I'm in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, where a small town on Florida's east coast hidden off Highway A1. A. New Smyrna acts as a beacon for other small American towns because it embraces the arts as a driving force to create community, economic development, and wellness. Better known for the visual arts, especially its yearly Images Arts Festival, it's also a haven for a wide variety of other artists. Its vibe attracts poets, novelists, filmmakers, dancers, singers, composers, and musicians. A longtime haven for surfboarders and sun worshippers attracted to the beautiful front beaches, New Smyrna has also become an artistic mecca. Arts activities have increased on historic Canal Street population has grown, and businesses have flourished, increasing real estate values and business opportunities. Equally important, the people walking on canal are relaxed and smiling. So making those pieces, uh, I go back to my thought, uh, what was going on in my life and my, my head when I, when I created those. Um, I had two visions in my head um, and I didn't know if, which one I could use. So I initially chose uh, the pose for uh, Captured Soul, but then the same pose for Captured Heart kept playing in my head. So I decided to do both uh, simultaneously, the first time that ever happened. Um, I tried to capture something that was very painful and hard with something that was soft with the, uh, with the blue color. Um, and the, the flowers, they represent hope. Uh, but it was uh, a painting that had uh, a lot of things that weren't very hopeful. Uh, there were hard feelings, uh, strong, powerful feelings. 
um, compare it to the soft petals and the, the soft linen, um, like I said, the blue color, and even the rope itself. It wasn't a, a, a hard braided rope, it was a, a soft rope. So it was both images show somebody in restraint, but it wasn't a restraint that was uh, pressing hard against the body, but it was still captured. And that was my thoughts between those two, and uh, I'm glad that I was able to create both instead of just choosing one. I am passionate about art and using my art as a platform to change the lives of the kids and the community around me. Art impacts everything around us. Imagine a world without art. I like to um, I like to play that particular song because <clears throat> I've had a certain amount of success with it on a commercial level, but also it's one of those songs that took me all of about 15 minutes to write, and it's one of the songs I just learned really quickly that I have to trust those feelings. If something comes out that quickly, I'm not really writing it. I'm I'm acting more as a conduit to something else that's going on, and I just. Uh, I love it when that happens. I have songs that I've written that I really enjoy that have taken me a long time to write, but when they come that quickly, I just feel like there's something working through me as opposed to me just sitting down laboring over it. And I love it when that happens. And I won't sleep well tonight. No, I won't. Sleep well tonight. A tempest in a hurricane, calm before the storm. How could something run this cold that used to be so? When I walked on the beach, just over the intracoastal waterway, it reminded me of my childhood further north when I felt the warm sand between my toes. As the sun rose over the ocean, reaching far distant shores, it was a reminder that we're all connected. At dawn, it was easy to walk, listen, observe, and take in the smells along the miles of beach. Occasionally, a unique shell drew my attention, and I cradled it in my hand. I wanted to take it with me, but I remembered the beach was its home. 
Birds flew gracefully alone or in groups, soaring high and low, as if flying to music only they could hear. An invisible leader orchestrated their graceful twists and turns. The locals walked, rode bikes, pushed carriages with babies and dogs, jogged and drove golf carts as they embraced the golden sunrise. A lone artist painted at an easel. The sun worshippers and tourists would come later. So many stories, behind stories, behind stories in New Smyrna Beach, whether on historic Canal Street or at the beach. Its heart beats to its own tune. If I listen carefully, I can hear an orchestra or jazz combo tuning up, waiting for the perfect moment to stir the artistic spirit of those who make New Smyrna Beach their home. Thank you for joining me today on my timeless cocoon journey. Next time, I'll be in Nazareth, Texas, another unique small American town. Until then, this is Ups of WKBCUPS Radio Theater, signing off. Even if you dress in a rush, Brit Fluoride Toothpaste starts instant action against tooth decay. Brit, B-R-I-S-K, Brit.